Not to mention free refreshment. Protector of the planet? Yeah, his name is Chen. He lives in the center of the Earth and only comes up if the world is in danger. So you're telling me our planet is guarded by this thing? Well, he is not alone in that matter. Dreamscape, Episode 4, Over and Under. Kai! Dylan, I honestly can't remember the last time we met. However, as you can tell, Chen and I didn't show up to reminisce. Yeah, Melissa didn't show up for the same reason either. Who are you? I apologize, friends of Dylan, but time is of great importance. Chen and I are only here to recruit him. You said recruit, not kidnap. Well now, what do we do? I want to go back to what we were doing before. And what would that be? Getting back at you for what you did to Keela. And I know just how to do it. Andrew, could you summon Snowball? Sure. Isn't that your pet polar bear? Andrew, what kind of joke is this? It's not a joke, Vamps. <laughs> what the hell? Pull this thing off, Andrin! Not a chance, Vamps. You can't call me that! What goes around comes around, Vamps. Um, is Elinin present? Yes. Kai, Chen, thank you for recruiting Dylan. Hey, I don't mean to be that guy. I like you guys, and I've faced my fair share of world-ending freaks, but... Why me? We would not have recruited you had we no need to. It is concerning the Overlord of Evil. The Overlord of Evil? But but he was sealed in the Underworld by Kedron and Drake. Drake's the strongest spellcaster on the planet, and Kedron is from the Underworld. Except she's some angel kind of thing. How could the Overlord of Evil do anything? Drake and Kedron do have incredible power, but sealing something away is not the same as defeating it. It is like locking something in a cage. Sure, it can cause harm to those on the outside, but it is still at full power and fully aware of what is going on, giving it plenty of time to hold a grudge, and eventually, that cage is going to rust over time, allowing it to break free. Are you saying the Overlord of Evil is loose? Not at all. However, his seal is weakening and he is beginning to gain influence on the outside world. An outside force is responsible for this, and we believe it's caused by the witch from the alternate universe, Melinda. No freaking way! I was in her dimension, like, earlier today! The only thing left of her was the possessor ghost and... <gasps> Melissa! Now I must be the one to ask questions. What role does Melissa play? Melissa told me she was Melinda's apprentice. I don't know how, but maybe the Overlord of Evil is manipulating her somehow. Or to explain why she ditched us in the middle of our tournament, at least. It's just a plausible theory. So what exactly do you want me to do? <laughs> Not just you. Drake! K Kedrin! Why do you stutter? Does this form not please you? Well, um... You want me in my true form, don't you? I actually prefer this form. At least when around you. It shows that it's not what's on the outside that matters. Anyway, 
our objective is to go to the location of the seal, strengthen it, discover a way to defeat the Overlord of Evil, and defeat him. Fighting the Overlord of Evil? I... I don't think I can be of help there. He's, in a way, Curian and Ethan's father, and I could never defeat them. I see. So you're giving up. No, I'm just saying I would be dead weight. I can help you guys out until then. That isn't an option. Like Ellingman stated before, we would not have recruited you if you had no use. Well, can we at least bring Kila, Vladmare, and them along? Strength and numbers and all that? Absolutely not. I was so discreet when I recruited you. The Overlord of Evil hasn't any idea of our plan. He cannot track us here. If he found out we were heading to exterminate him, his grudge would go stronger and weaken his seal faster, allowing his power over this world to increase. There is also the possibility of him contacting those cursed siblings you mentioned, and you said it yourself. You can't defeat them. Yet you think I can defeat the Overlord of Evil. How many times must they repeat themselves before you understand? Now, the three of you will arrive at the location of the seal from three separate points. This will avoid the Overlord of Evil's suspicions. By the time he realizes you are all headed to his location, you should all be close enough to regroup. Kedron and Drake are aware of their location. Dylan, you will be brought to the forest near the plains where you and your friends often congregate. Chen shall accompany you until you arrive at a certain distance from the seal, where you should be able to pinpoint its location. Got it. Ugh, I know chameleons have sticky tongues, but I don't think I'll ever get used to this like Kai does. Oh, Chen, aren't other people going to be suspicious of a giant chameleon cyborg walking around? Chameleon cloak, of course. The two of you got that out of your systems. Right. Uh-huh. Honestly, Andrin, how can you back up Ajin on this? Other than the fact that he's your friend. What do you mean? Don't you hate Keela not as much as I do? It's not about Keela, it's about the principal. And I don't hate Keela, I just don't like her. Oh, don't do that, Ajin. You know as well as we do that she doesn't like me or Andrin. Yeah, I mean, Dylan is friends with her because they are a lot alike. And you're friends with her because, well, you're Ajin. Making friends is what you're best at. She's just not interested in us. I guess snarky vampires and finicky girls don't appeal to her. Yeah, we- Wait, finicky? Well, gee guys, uh, I wish Kilo could get along with you guys. Then we would all be friends, but Kilo isn't as bad as you guys are making her out to be. She's actually pretty nice. To you and human, buddy. Face it, Asheen, she's hard to get along with. You get along with her because you're a gene, and Human Buddy met her in a bleak situation. I disagree with Andrin about them being alike. While well, Human Buddy calls me out on stuff a lot, he doesn't bash me. No, she meant them about being alike by sharing some traits. The important ones that defy them, like their determination and idealism. You're trying to tell me that Keela is an idealist? You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. It doesn't seem like it at first, but Keela does try to see the good in the world. If you say so. You just can't see where I'm coming from because you've never had this problem with people, Eugene. No, you're wrong, fams. There is one person I feel a little similar to how you feel with Keela. Really? Who? It's that red-headed girl. I can't remember her name, though. Oh! You mean that chick who's somehow friends with Human Buddy? Wow, I completely forgot about her until now. Yeah, I don't know how she's friends with Dylan either. I don't mind if people don't like me, but she never even gave me a chance. That's because she's cruel and judgmental as hell. And kinda scary. You know, if you're gonna gossip about someone, try not to do it in such a stupidly obvious way. And you idiots can't even remember my name. I remember all of your names. Jean, Andrin, and Vampire Lord. What the hell are you doing here? There's only one reason I would actually seek out you people. We don't know where Dylan is. Some giant chameleon took him- Giant chameleon? Yeah, it went underground and there was this person named Kai with him. <laughs> she just used us for information, not even bothering to say goodbye. Why would you give it to her? Because, like it or not, vamps, she's Dylan's friend. And as his friend, she has the right to know. And I was just intimidated. Hmm. Do you spot something? Thermal vision pays off. 
Man, I can't imagine how we would reseal the Overlord of Evil. And if Melinda is somehow revived, I'm pretty sure the world is doomed. Oh no, that's gotta be Ethan. No, you there, idiot. My summon has thermal vision. And she knows. Might as well drop the act. Don't insult me by still blending in after calling you out. Well, you see, Jenna, it's not up to me. It you said I was talking about you, idiot. Y you shouldn't say things to him like that. Whatever. What are you even doing here, and who the hell is this lizard? I can't say much, but... Chen is the guardian of the planet. He lives in its core and only comes up when the planet is in serious danger. A long time ago, I became friends with Chen and his current master, and they just recruited me for a very important task. Alright. This task is obviously very secretive, because I know you aren't stupid enough to keep me in the dark if it wasn't a necessity. Look, Chen, I know she isn't the first person you'd invite to a party and doesn't exactly spread happiness wherever she goes, but Jenna is very smart and observant, and knows me all too well. The Overlord of Evil was definitely one of my toughest and most dangerous fights. He would have obliterated the universe if it weren't for my friends. He started out as a rumor just known as the Overlord. But everyone just thought people were talking about a character from a really scary movie. That all changed when his story came on that somebody spotted him at a zoo. He was destroying the minds of everyone around him by warping the area into incomprehensible imagery. These seeds are weird. The Overlord is coming closer and he can possess people! That night, none of us could fall asleep. We were too scared that he was going to possess one of us. Was I? Was I possessed? Relax, that's just a candy body left over from Halloween. Phew. What the hell is going on? That is the Overlord of Evil. Melissa and some others are trying to figure out how to stop him. This dimension, and soon all dimensions in the multiverse, will be eradicated from existence. With what, boss, sir? With this, you simpleton. With this, I will destroy the tower which keeps this world together, which will open up a vortex in space-time. Then, I shall go through that vortex and use the power inside to rule over it all. This guy is planning to warp all of existence? And why the hell is he boasting all about this right in front of us? Because he knows there isn't a damn thing we can do to stop him. We'll see about that. A spy? Be gone! <laughs> I am the only one who could help to survive that power. Just where did that sorcerer come from? Years ago, in the Sky Dimension, a group of cursed siblings appeared and tried to destroy it. But it was too pure, and Angel Guards quickly drove them out. However, a dark rift appeared soon after, and the Angels could do nothing to stop it. So they decided to seal the realm away. Just recently, someone managed to break that seal, which released the Overlord of Evil. Hang on. That's what Ethan meant! He told me that race he hosted in the Dimensional Crossing was actually a plot to release the ultimate evil the first time I met him! Kyrian and her brother are responsible for this. That creepy zombie chick you told us about did all this? And she has a family? I... I think we might be doomed, guys. What? I could never stop Kyrian. What hopes do I have of stopping him? I... I can't believe what I'm hearing here. Since when do you give up? I agree with her. The Overlord of Evil may just be more powerful than the Master of the Damned, but when has that stopped you? You inspired me to escape from the Unworld when I gave up. Please don't let me down. Don't let the world down. Thanks, you guys. I'm glad my friends always have my back. We will stop him. He's going to fire that thing off at 4 a.m. Damn, that Ethan's one symbolic bastard. That's the time he began that race. I'll be right back. <laughs> Whoa, where the hell did that come from? I made a little call to the authorities and they surprisingly listened, deciding to do something about it. What's that thing? It's the Eye of Reality. It allows whoever looks through it to warp reality on an undetectable scale. 
Yeah, it sounded crazy, but that girl had proof and we can't let the world get destroyed. We are going to lock you up until the boss gets back from the Sky Dimension. Don't you guys understand that he's only using you until he opens up the portal? You heard him yourself. He's going to warp all of existence. Do you really think he cares about you and is going to keep you by his side once he accomplishes this? What? You aren't destroying the universe today. <laughs> When the control panel is destroyed, it triggers my laser to fire. <gasps> Excellent. I don't even need that tower now. You have just revealed the location of the rift for me. I shall locate the remote for my laser and fire it once more to open up the rift and you will never stand in my way. I think I just made things. No! I will not be stopped! Sorry, but you're history! Foolish girl, even though you stopped my plot, you cannot kill me. No, but we can seal you away! And with my special seal, you won't be getting out. However, I've got a gut feeling that his defeat won't be as swift as it was back then. So this is the drop-off point? Well, I can see the World Tower hasn't changed a bit, unlike that skyscraper. You arrived safely. Yeah, so where's the seal? It is not in this world. Rather, a world. One you should be familiar with. Don't tell me it's... The Underworld. And our target... Oh no! Don't worry. There's nothing he can say or do to us. What now? We must confront him directly by passing through the seal. Wait, won't that weaken it even more? As long as Keedron and I are present, the seal will not weaken, as we are the ones who created it. And we just walk on through? Sorta. What now? I shall unrestrict his movement. But again, do not worry. As long as Keedron and I are here, there is no way he is getting out or using his powers. You all must have a death wish. You wish. Did you expect us to allow you to use your powers? And try anything sneaky and you'll be suspended once again. And what purpose do you have being here? Especially the boy. I have no idea. We've arrived to defeat you for good. <laughs> if you had to seal me away just to stop my plot, what gives you the idea that you can defeat me? That is what we are here to discover. <laughs> the two of you are very powerful, but no matter what you hit me with, I will live on. The two of you are very powerful, but no matter what you hit me with, I will live on. Did that do it? How? I thought the seal negated his powers! That move temporarily annihilated me, unbinding me from this seal and returning my powers temporarily. This not only allowed me to revive myself, but allowed me to execute the key part of my escape. What do you mean, escape? It was my plan all along to allow you two to attack me. I knew you would never realize you couldn't kill me. Even if you killed me, which is exactly what I wanted you to do. What have you done to the world? Nothing more than I already have. I've been using a puppet to steadily aid me until I could get out of this forsaken trap. And killing me was just enough time to influence that puppet enough for it to complete the task. What are you talking about? Look behind you, fools. M Melissa?